Have a go at that whopper. Are you ready? Beautiful pinky. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish, guys. Ew. Oh, yeah, that's where we're going. Yep, another fish on. <laughs> He's gonna go. And she's on. <laughs> we are back in the Melbourne CBD, guys. Welcome back. So, today we're doing something a little bit different, overcast conditions, and it's gonna chop up this afternoon. So, it's midday now. So, what I'm gonna do is just get prepared. So, what I've got with me is three combos one's our ultralight combo, just with a size two hook, and that's gonna have either half a pilchet or a pilch cube. It's a bit breezy now. Um, the other combo I've got is a medium combo. So that's got a decent sized plastic on that. And that's gonna hopefully catch a not, some nice pinky snapper mull wave there in the area. And then our third combo is our heavy combo. So it's got a snail rig with 6-0 hooks and I'm gonna chuck a whole pilchet out. And if there's any decent fish in the area like snapper, mull away, uh, we should definitely get it. So I'm just using, where are they? Just using some pilchards for bait. Gonna make a burly trail, tie up, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can pull in some nice CBD pinkies, snapper, and see how we go. Alrighty, so it's a bit breezy now. It's gonna go up to about close to 30 knots. So it's gonna be pretty damn windy. At the moment, since it's not too bad, it's a bit of a breeze, but we'll see how we go here. So what I'm gonna do is tie up to this marker here, because in here is actually a drop off. So if there's some snap in the area, they should be here, even mull away. So I'm just gonna Little bit of rope here. It's gonna go through that. And just do a little little knot. Alright there. So now I'm gonna get my pilchards out. Now the thing is, where am I going to chop them? I should have thought of that. Anyways, let's get them out. Let's bring a crappy knife just in case it goes overboard. Alrighty. Have a go at that whopper. Ooh. I might chuck that one out first. And I'll chuck it on. The big outfit these are all unweighted by the way guys so that's running out there and what i want to do is get one somewhere in that head section and then the other one coming out there that's, that's line out do a half hitch around the tail. Another half hitch. And I'm using very light line, guys. So I think it's around 20 pound. I just got these straps on just in case. Actually, I might... Where should I put that? It's a bit of a pain in the ass there. I guess I can undo it when I hook a fish. But for now, we'll just chuck it out there. Some line out. You want a fair bit of drag so it hooks up. That will do. Right. That one's in. Now the other one, I can probably just cut it in the bag, I guess. These are big pillies, too. Just on that one, I'm just going to put. I want to put a cube. Oh yeah, so it cuts good like that. 
that's all you need. And on this I've got 10 pound. What I'm gonna do is just hook it once since it's a circle hook. Snapper just grabs that, pull and he's on. So on that one, I'll chuck just out there. And imagine if a burly trail, hopefully, some nice fish come in. So that burly trail is going down. All right, beautiful. So that's that one there. Now, we're gonna cut some pilchards up and chuck it in for burly. And while that's these two bait rods are going, I'm gonna flick my soft plastic out. I believe it's a five inch uh, plazo grub in a pearl white color. So I'm just gonna flick that one out. And in here, it's about four, six meters. In here, it's about 12 meters. So I'm fishing the drop off and that plastic's obviously working across the ground. There is a bit of, there is a bit of structure too. So I might get snagged every now and then, but um, that's what snapper like. And that's where the fish will be if they're in the area. So uh, yeah, with the, with the plastic, as soon as it hits the bottom, wind, a few hops off the bottom, let some line out again. It's a bit windy, so it's hard to keep tension with the line, but um, if it's a snapper, you'll absolutely smash it, so you don't need to worry about that. So keep on doing that, and a few whips. And hopefully, these snappers gonna come in the area. Yep, guys, <laughs> this rod just buckled on the pilcher cube. I set that camera up. So it's, I don't know what, it, it should be a pinky for sure. Where's the net? That's there. <laughs> Probably been here for about five minutes and already onto this guy. It's doing those head shakes, so. Nearly here now. Oh yeah, it's a, uh, Nice little pinky. Believe it or not, the bait's still on it. <laughs> so. Open the bow arm. And there we have it. A nice little pinky on that pilcher cube. Five minutes in, middle of the day, can't complain, so I'm just gonna pop this hook out. Like so, and we'll let this girl go. Off she goes, how cool is that guys? So I'm just might as well just use the same bait. Still bit on it, so Good to see there's some pinkies in the area. So this is pretty much the only rod that might get them because it's only the smallest sort of bait. Even though it's a decent sized hook, I'm still gonna get them because they've got decent sized mouths. So that one was just hanging um, pretty much just off the bottom, straight down underneath me. So since I've got a pinky, I know there's gonna be some more in the area. So I'm just gonna burly up, have these bait rods out. If that one goes, it's going to be a bloody big fish. And um, yeah. So let's see if we can get some more fish. Just gonna put that there. And let's get into a few. All right, I'm just gonna change the bait, put a proper bait on now. I go that, there's something small picking at it. So luckily, I'm gonna change the bait anyway. Turf that out. And do the same thing. Straight through. Just like that, drop it in. Might as well just leave the bow arm open. And I wanna have that bait pretty much just off the bottom. So keep letting line out when there's a bit of tension. And if that line just starts peeling, there's a fish on it. Um, so yeah, just keep letting line out. You can close the bow arm every now and then and just keep letting line out. The breeze is just coming in and out. So at the moment, it just started to stop a little bit but now the other clouds are about to come, so it's on and off, which isn't too bad. At least it's not full on um, wind. So what I've noticed with the pinkies in Docklands and in the Yarra River, they'll go around 
like Australian salmon. I would just come around, feed for about five minutes, and then move on, and might come back in half an hour, might come back in an hour's time, might not even come back. Um, so to get the pinkies, you've always got to put a little bit of burley in the water if you're using bait, just to keep them around. If you're using soft plastics and you've got a sounder, it's good to just follow them and try and find, sound them up, and that's when you can um, get into a few fish. But for now, what I'm doing is I'm just burling every now and then, and hopefully they just stay in the area, even if they're doing loops. If, that, if there's a bit of smell in the water, they'll smell it, and they'll come straight to the kayak and um, smash this bait right here. About the kill. Yep. She's on. <laughs> so it looks like the pilchard cubes are smacking the fish today. I'm going to take this strap off. It's giving me a pretty annoying. <laughs> Just a small one. Just hooked. Just in the lip. Take that out. There we go, another another nice little pinky. Where are you going, mate? There we go, another nice little fish. Not too big. If we can get the bigger one, it's going to be good, so chuck you back. And I'm going to cut another little cube because it looks like these pinkies are absolutely smashing it. So just cut it like that. That will do. Get our pilchard cube. Hook it like that again. Pretty much as soon as it goes halfway or fairly close to the bottom, the rod takes off. So we're going to see if we can get a, a live hook up for you guys. Might just take this plastic rod out of the way, it's getting a bit... Oh, it's starting to get a bit breezy now. I might have to move in about five minutes. See how we go for now. Depends how many fish there are. So I'll leave that rod there. Take some more line out of this. Oh, that might be getting some hits. It's getting bloody windy here now, and not much action. What's going on here? So I'm just going to make a, a move and head into some sheltered area. Have a go at that. It's been chewed on, and look at those bite marks. They are tiny. So. What I'm going to do, untie here, looks like the knot pushed itself up. Poor, it's getting bloody windy now. It's hard to take the knot out because the wind is just blowing me 100 miles an hour. There we go, nearly got it, come on. Right, there we go. That's that. Now let's go to some sheltered area. All right, guys, I found some protected cover in here. So I'm just, just got here now. Gonna put the baits in here. Probably spend a couple of hours here. Drop some burley down. And um, I've got the big rod hanging out there. Just that, get that out of the way. Um, but yeah, if we can get some nice pinky snapper, that's gonna be awesome yep guys this rod just buckled big time i was on my phone right here and i put it there and this rod just buckled definitely a bigger fish than the ones that i got down there so i gotta get this net this one's probably 34 centimeters something around that i reckon could be bigger you never know oh yeah nice fish Nice fish. That's what we want. Fishing that size. Beautiful. Take this guy out. And there we go. That's 
that's all you want. That's a better fish. Look at that colour. Awesome pink to it. Beautiful pinky. Look at those colours. Look at those dots. Those nice blue dots. With that sun reflecting to it. That is beautiful. So we'll take a nice photo and uh, we'll send these fish on our way. Now I can tell us, oh look at that, perfect in the corner there. That just came out and that's awesome. Nice sharp hooks, Gamakatsu, so. There's the pilchard. Cut another piece. I use bigger pieces because they're decent sized fish. Put that there. Good our hook. Hook it like so. Fix a line around my guides. Perfect. And just flick it out. And uh, that's a nice start to this spot. So that, that bait will just drop down slowly, unweighted, really natural, and those fish are just absolutely smashing on the drop. So I'm just gonna let more line out and um, let's get into another one. All right, so what I've done now is, so I pretty much got two bait rods in the water. So with the plastic one, I just cut that off because um, those size pinkies weren't interested in that. Profile's a bit too big. Yes, if I put a smaller plastic on, I'll get it. Um, as I'm talking to you, there's actually a fish on this. Let's see if he gets it. See, so yeah, I've got two pilcher cubes on now. So what I'm gonna do is, Open the bail arm. Hopefully this was a fish. And he'll grab it. Yep, it's a fish. It's eating it now. Come on, come on, kill over. Must be some small fish. What the hell? Very small fish. It's just gonna hook it. That's what's good about having two bait rods in. If this gets cleaned, or that, if this gets a fish, then that one's got a chance too. So we can even get a double hook up today. So I'm just gonna let some line out and uh, get it back to that fish. Obviously it wasn't too big, otherwise it would have smashed it, but um, see how we go. Got a fish on here. About time this one went off. This one was actually, oh yeah. This one was actually on the bottom. Oh, there's another one on this one. Oh my God. Oh, decent fish too. Oh, this one's gone. The other one's going too. Let's see if we can get two. Holding my hands. Wind slowly. Took me bait. Ah. Quickly put this one out. Look at this fat one just taking baits like no tomorrow. Settle down. Settle down. You're going back, mate. Don't worry. I'm not going to keep you. There we go. Another, another pinky. Please don't tell your mates, and I'll let you go. Kill him. All right. So, while that fish is going down, so is my bait. I reckon that's good enough because these fish are taking it even halfway. That one was actually on the bottom, but. They are taking it halfway too. Chop a bit more burly in the water. Just chuck that whole head out. Pinkers will just fight over that. Just to get them going a bit. Put some blood in the water. Bit of guts. Damn it, there's a fish on. Ugh. And my line stuffed. It's wrapped around the rod. And it's a good fish. Damn it. It's gonna break my rod, that's what's gonna happen. 
Gonna do it. There we go, fixed up. Beautiful. Fix this camera up for you guys. Oh yeah, this one's a good fish. Oh, nice fish, nice fish guys. Yeah. Yeah, some nice ones around. You could be there with 10 years, there's heaps of them here. I know, yeah. That one's probably the PB of the session. Good fish, that. Take that out. There we go, that's a better fish. Nice dark red to him. So this one's been staying more in the reefs and staying in here a bit longer. So that's a nice pinky there. Good fish. Off you go, mate. And soon this one's gonna go off, just opening the bail arm. Put that there. Bait this one back up. Bloody hell, it's really, really choppy now. Lucky I'm in here just in time. I've got to get out of here on the way back, but it's even rocking around a fair bit in here. Be protected, but um, oh shit, look at these waves, damn it, whoa, Jesus. Get this net out of the water, far out. Yep, this one's going, yep, fish on, there we go. Sorry about the rocking, rocking and rolling here. Trying to do what I can with the conditions, but um, very good fun. This one's not as big as the other one. This one's actually undersized. That's that. Nice little pinky. Off you go. Back up. Oh, this rod's going too. Come on, fix this. All right, that's done. There's a fish on this one. Yeah, Reed's about to take it. Still on it. Are you ready guys? It's gonna run with it. Three, two, one. Got him on. <laughs> yes. Ooh. This rod's getting quite a few nice fish. A lot of small head shakes, so that tells straight away that's not too big. Ooh. For a second I thought it was a bloody Trevelli. <laughs> that's how uh Silver, this guy is. Pinky mayhem, guys. There we go, nice little pinky. Beautiful color on that one. Off you go. And that's all I'm doing, just baiting up, chucking back, baiting up, and getting fish. Since I've, this is the last bit of the pilchet, I'll get another one. Bigger bait. Pin that in there. Hopefully that one will get a Decent fish. Plonk, straight in the water. Oh, yep, yeah, this one's going. Yep, another fish on. 
<laughs> this is so good. Where's that bale arm? This one's not too big. You can tell straight away. It's all right, but um, not the big, big ones. This wind's starting to howl big time now too. Trying to not get the camera too wet. So there we go, another little pinky. Pill. Another pilly out. Good size ones. Put half a pilly on this one. Pilly tail. Fuck that one out there. I reckon this one's gonna go very fast. Once this slight, once this uh, slack tightens up and there's a bit of tension on the line, I reckon it's gonna get straight down. Pre-cut some baits. A good method too is just to add a little bit of lead to your line. So it could be anything from one to two split shots to a little ball sinker. Um, but I just love using unweighted baits it looks very natural and the fish love it too. I don't know if that was a hit. I wonder what's going on with this rod. This has just been dangling at the back. I'll be surprised if I don't even have a bite. Look at that. Not even a bite mark. Big ass pilly though. If there's a snapper, that will go first. Any minute now. All right, quickly guys, what do you reckon? Do you reckon the light rod or the medium rod's gonna go off first? I reckon, oof, probably the, the light one. That one's pretty much, or they're both off the bottom actually. So I'm just gonna wind a little bit off the bottom on both of them. And they're pretty much one to two meters apart. So most of the time I find the fish come from that way, so the medium one might go off first, but I reckon the small one. Oh, I think it's getting some hits. Wind slowly. Yep, guys, we're on. Yo! Look at that. Settle down, buddy. Nice pinky. Off you go, buddy. All right, bait that up. Flick her in. Beautiful. fish though. It's going all right. Oh yeah, a bit better. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Look at those colors. Where are you going, mister? You're coming with me. Spitting out all my, all my bait, making some more burly. Now, that is one chunky pinky right there. Beautiful fish. Camera's a bit too far. But beautiful colours. Beautiful fish. Nice, chunky, healthy CBD pinky. Cleaning up today. With plastics, I would have got quite a few too, but bait. Change it up a little bit. Send it on away. Off you go, miss. When snapper fishing or any sort of bait fishing, it's always good to be prepared. So. So that rod's going just in case. So there's always a bait in the water and it's always good to have pre-made baits like so. So we'll just flick that out again. Open the bow arm, let that drop down. That one's doing its work too. Yep, getting hit. 
It's gonna go, it's gonna go, it's gonna go, it's gonna go. And she's on. Oh. <laughs> Good fun. This fish is a bit better. Surprised that one's not gonna go. It will, shortly. Let's hope so. Because there's some good pinkies in here. All beautiful fish, all size. Or at least 85% of them are, 90%. These guys are just coming into the Yarra River and this system here now because they're very fresh nice colors to it so i've sent her on her way probably splashed the, the camera all over the place so that's that give this big ass cube a go oh, it's a big bait look at that that's like a snapper bait that big pilchards big big arm um, baits and hopefully big fish. So just flick her out again. Plonk. Open the bail arm. Does this have bait? It's got bait. I might have just open some more line out. Maybe they're a bit more on the bottom. Another reason why I reckon the light rod's going off is that the uh, line diameter's fairly thinner. So on that one, I think I got 10 pound and on the medium one, I think I've got 20 pound. So that's double the diameter um, and fish do see that. Yep, we are on. It's been a while and the rod just buckled straight down. It's probably around 33 centimeters. Oh yeah, live hook up. Oh no, I got two on. What the hell? Jesus. <laughs> Bloody hell, I've got, got two fish on, guys. Look at that. Two pinkies. Put the rods there. Open the bow arms. Are you ready? Hey, they are going nuts. All right, we'll just let these fish go. Bit of oxygen. All right, that one's off. This one's about to shoot off any minute. Look at that, look at those colors. And off she goes. Oh, that's gonna go, that's gonna go. That is gonna go. And she's on. <laughs> hey. Oh, damn it. You know why? Because this braid wrapped around my bloody tip. It was only a pinky. We'll head off shortly. It's good fun, but um, probably only spent about two hours in this spot, believe it or not. And we're doing pretty good. But um, yeah, I'm probably gonna head off shortly because it's around around three o'clock now. Um, what is it? Yeah, two fifty-four. So I've only spent a couple of hours here, a few hours, and um, yeah, got a fair few fish. So I'm gonna head off. New fishies can have that. Well, what an awesome little session we had today. Just in the Melbourne CBD, very overcast. Um, yeah, mid-year, pretty cold as we're pretty much in winter now. Um, yeah, we got a, quite a few pinkies and we ended off getting 
some nice fish and some constant fish too. Even I managed a double hookup or two. Um, so yeah, that was pretty good. Just using stinky pillies. Change it up a little bit. I normally use soft plastics in Docklands, but just wanted to give bait a go. There you go. It does work a lot better than soft plastics. You will get more fish. Um, and on soft plastics, it's good fun too. So even if with that ratio, getting less fish and getting them on soft plastics, it's good fun. Just wanted to give it a go with some pilchards just to see if there's some bigger fish in the area too. And um, obviously it's around 30 knots. So, whoa. Oh, oh wait, there's a fish on this. Is it on it? Oh, was it on it? Oh, Jesus. There was a fish on that, on the whole pilly far out wouldn't have been too big all of a sudden my cock is going Brrr, and i'm like what the hell is this i thought it was just rubbing against the uh pontoon and then my rod was just shaking i think that was the rod um so you guys can see that and be the judge of that but um i might as well conclude it here and if we do get a fish or any more fish i'll just add it into the video um but yeah really really good um, start and really really good finish down in the Melbourne CBD so like I was saying it's 30 knots so that's why I'm using bait just in a protected area rather than just going around just flicking plastics getting blown in the wind it's a very very annoying so just changing up a little bit covered area and we got some nice uh, pinky snapper just using some pilchards so awesome fun hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't already 80% of you guys actually aren't subscribed. So if you can hit that subscribe button down below, I really, really appreciate it. It supports the channel. Well, it's for free for you guys and it supports the channel. Just helps me create more content. And um, yeah, it's, it's awesome guys. So if you guys like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment your thoughts or what you want to see, what sort of videos you'd want me to make and episodes you want me to make, some ideas. And I'll take it into mind because um, I'm happy to give it a go, give anything a go. So I'll let that go down. And yeah, it's gonna be an awesome future, guys. Fishing all sorts of locations and the Melbourne CBD is a very good one to start off with. No follows, one strike, and that should take the bait off beautifully. Hook that bad boy up. That's two, and now we're just waiting on this one. Give it 20 seconds. Full steam ahead.